Last week, we considered seventh chords, all from the perspective of the note C. So we had the, or from the root C. So we had a C major seventh chord, which is also called the C major, major seventh chord. Then we had the C dominant seventh chord, which is also called the C major minor seventh chord because it's a major triad with a minor seventh up top. And then we had the C may, uh, minor seventh chord, also called the C minor minor seventh chord, the C diminished or C half diminished seventh chord, also known as the C diminished minor seventh chord, because it's a diminished triad with a minor seventh on top. And then we had the fully diminished seventh chord, because it's a diminished triad with a diminished seventh interval on top. You might call this a minor, uh, major sixth, but that's gonna get you confused and into a little bit of trouble. This is a diminished seventh interval because it's not a major seventh, it's not a minor seventh, it's a diminished seventh. So this week, you're gonna consider seventh chords within a key. And to describe this, I'll just go with the key of C. <clears throat> it's really quite lovely. You've got your one chord, which is the C major seventh chord. Your two chord, which is the D minor seventh chord. Your three chord, which is the E minor seventh chord. Your four chord. So we can drag all the way through. Your four chord, there we go, which is the F major seventh chord. Your five chord, which is the G seven chord, a G dominant seventh chord. And the six chord, the six seven chord, which is the A minor seventh chord and the seven chord, which is the B half diminished seventh chord. So we've got this pattern of major, just like, whereas in triads, we have a pattern of major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, then home again. We have a similar pattern, major seven, Major seventh, minor seventh, minor seventh, major seventh, dominant seventh, minor seventh, diminished, half diminished seventh, and then home. Okay, and if you think of, okay, in doing it in minor, We've got the minor seventh, the one minor seventh, the two half diminished seventh, the three major seventh, the four minor seventh, the five minor seventh, but then if we want it to be a dominant seventh chord to give us that dominant function, which we'll talk about more soon, we've got the five seven chord, dominant seventh chord, the six major seven. And then this flat seven or the seven dominant seventh chord, which we don't really use that much because in classical music, we're gonna raise this seventh note to make it the leading tone, which gives us the fully diminished seventh chord because the interval from a G sharp to an F is a diminished seventh. 
So that's the way we do. Have fun with that.